Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning, and today we are looking at an attic installation of a Carrier Infinity Furnace, a plenum coil, as well as adding a return duct upstairs to one of the front bedrooms to pull out more air and cool the upstairs better. So, as always, please like my video, subscribe to my page, leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those. So let's get right into it. This is a three-ton Carrier Infinity Furnace. It's uh, 40,000 BTUs. It's an ultra low NOx furnace. We did a new flue vent. We did a new coil over there. We have a condensate shutoff switch down there. It is on furnace stands. On the back side here, we have the return plenum and we ran this extra return duct to the front bedroom over the garage that is extremely hot. It gets west sun all day. So we wanted to make sure we pulled more heat out of there. So we added this return duct. They do have another return way down there that is in the central hallway upstairs but that is pretty far from this bedroom, so it's not pulling the heat out of this side of the upstairs, so we wanted to add one. I'm gonna go down there and show you that now so you can see how we did that. Again, we had a return plenum. and we added this duct off the back over there. So here's the bedroom right here that we're gonna walk into. They have one grill in the ceiling right there, and in the ceiling over here is where that duct attaches to that's gonna be pulling the heat out. This is a 12 by 12, bar type return grill. Inside the grill, you can see the filter there, has two little tabs on the end and you just pull that down to replace the filter. So this will, this will pull the heat out of this room a lot better. We have a window there, it's over a garage. We do have a fan, but this was always the hottest bedroom. So adding this return is a big deal. It will make this room uh, a lot cooler throughout the day and the night. The other return, is over here and centrally in the hallway. So it just wasn't uh, pulling the heat out from this side of the house over there. Also, this is an infinity system. So we do have the infinity control thermostat up here matched with an infinity variable speed condenser outside that I did some other videos on. They actually have an upstairs and a downstairs system. So they have a two ton for the upstairs and a three ton for the downstairs. They're both the five speed variable speed infinity condensers, two, four VNA nines. And this is what controls them. Basically right here, you can see it's cooling right now. When we started this system up, it was about 90 degrees upstairs. It's pretty hot today. Now it's down to 84. This thermostat, we have a whole bunch of really cool controls. It does humidity control. So you can actually go in here and it will sense your indoor and outdoor humidity and you can set humidity settings to pull more humidity out of the air. It is connected to the My Infinity Touch uh, app. So you can control by Wi-Fi. You have continuous fan control. You can also do low, medium and high fan control if you wanna just move the air around to keep it so it's not stagnant or filter more of the air. All of your functionality is here, heat, auto settings, and fan. So this is a very good system. Like I said, the main thing on this was doing a new system and getting the heat out of this room by adding that return air. Again, this is that furnace that we did in the attic, on stands. Everything looks, came out great. The ductwork in this house, just so you know, was newer. This was done probably about 15 years ago. We just resealed all the ductwork to make sure there was no holes or gaps in it. Um, it's insulated properly. Everything's good. This is the new duct that we ran. It's a 10 inch duct, so it pulls about 300 CFM out of that room, which is pretty good. Um, and then the other big duct over there is the other return that goes to the other return grill. If you have any questions about this install, adding a return to pull out more heat out of a hot bedroom, let us know. Um, you can comment in the section below if you like this video, we appreciate that. Please like this video and subscribe to our page. You can visit us at www.albertair.com. Thank you.